Hello friends, uh, in this video I am going to talk about the basic process of transformation. Now what transformation is? Transformation is uh, the way or the process of transferring the genetic element from one bacterial cell uh, to another bacterial cell. But in this case one bacterial cell uh, produces uh, those DNA segments and release it into the outer environment and other cells uptake it from the outer environment. So in this case what we are looking, we are not uh, saying that these two bacterial cells are in direct contact. So in, in transformation procedure, no two bacteria are in direct contact, but still they can exchange the genetic material via the environmental uh, leaving and uptaking. Okay. Now in this case, uh, let us think uh, these two are the bacteria. Now there are several steps uh, of this transformation existed for our simplicity's sake. Now let's first begin with the first step which is called the competence generation. Now what do we mean by this first step or competence generation is that now some of the bacteria of a bacterial population produces a factor uh, or chemical factors called the competence factors. Okay, there are different name of this protein factors example COMX, sometimes, uh, so sometimes CSF or competence sporulating factor. So these are uh, the example of this competent factor CSF competence and sporulating factor and they, we have also COMX now these are the protein molecules these molecules are created by some of the cells not all the cells but some of the cells and they are called the competence factor they are released outside and then these molecules come and at interact with uh, the membrane receptor of the same bacterial cells. Now why it is necessary of producing all this bacteria and leaving it outside and again taking it via a process uh, or auto-regulation processes? The answer is that when a bacterial cell want to know other bacterial cell that look what I am producing then only it needs to produce those things and put it outside right? So if, if you put something and you put it outside for some time then take it out again and take it uh, onto your uh, self again that means you are you're trying to show somebody that look what I have produced so again in this case the same thing is happening the few bacterial cells which are producing this competence factor they are trying to show other bacteria that they are producing these factors that means it's a time for doing something what for what thing? The answer is for carrying out the transformation. Now, as soon as they are producing these competence factors, the level of competence factors in, in the um, environment uh, start to increase and as a result, other bacterial cell, irrespective of those who, who have produced it, uh, start to take uh, uh, these competence factors and they are activated again to produce some of the very important proteins and all these machineries which are responsible for uptake of the DNA element. Okay, now uh, why they need to uptake the DNA element? I just tell it in a short in this case because sometimes uh, they have a damage, the bacterial cell have a damaged uh, portion of a DNA uh, uh, for example the UV radiation. So right after the UV radiation a bacteria uh, will have the damage of thymine dimer formation. So right after such an event of producing a thymine dimer formation. If uh, they, they have a part or uh, if they got some DNA segment outside which is having a pretty good or uh, without mutated region of the DNA of the same type so it will take this DNA out and it will replace this DNA uh, with this thymine dimer containing region of the DNA and thus it can uh, it, it can um, what you can say repair its DNA uh, or damaged DNA right so this is one type of uh, example of why they are doing this but uh, in a whole that this process is helping them to generate the variation and also helping them to communicate with other bacterial cells so this kind of competence can only be on only also seen in case of uh, quorum sensing or bacterial uh, crosstalk right now in this case right after this competence generation the second step come in now when all the cells are alerted to take up the DNA so every cell is getting all those messages it will produce all the machineries for uptaking the DNA and then it is a time for the DNA strand binding now the DNA strand binds with uh, this is called the second step and DNA strand binding now this DNA strand binding step is crucial because this DNA uh, will bind with uh, this cell into a particular place there are different receptor regions uh, there are also different COM proteins uh, which are uh, uh, functioning as receptor regions like uh, COM P uh, and uh, protein and the different channels sometimes it, it, it can be a channel it can be and just a transmembrane receptor for doing all these things but most of the time these are the channels because the DNA have to enter 
entry uh, through a channel so most of the time this is channel so it's a permeus or some t different names are there different fascinating names so normally uh, say it's a permeus right so we have a channel uh, where this DNA bound, bound with it and different proteins recognition sites for the DNA and it will bind with that then the third step come and th in the third step what happens one of the DNA strands start to be chewed out by the nu uh, nucleus enzyme so here the nucleus enzyme is generated with this triangle region so it's a nucleus enzyme usually nucleus enzyme is put onto the cell membrane so if it's a bacterial cell gram positive bacterial cell there must be a peptidoglycan layer and right after the peptidoglycan layer there is a cell membrane layer right so uh, in the cell membrane layer they are having this uh, enzyme of nucleus and when we have a double stranded dna for example we are having this double stranded dna sorry my mouse is again troubling me a lot sorry this is the double stranded dna and right after this part uh, one of the strand is getting chewed out and one of the strand is allowed to enter through the pore okay and uh, there are also the DNA binding protein which are very important which we start to bind with the single stranded DNA otherwise the single stranded DNA will be vulnerable to the nucleus cleavage uh, in, inside the cell uh, also uh, it will vulnerable to reassociate with each other to make a secondary structure right so that's why we need this DNA binding protein inside the cell uh, to take the single strand away and also we need to cleave the another strand which you do not need with the help of nucleus and now the fourth step and very very important probably most important step if you do all the steps correct but do not uh, establish this step that means you are incomplete or the whole process of transformation becomes or remains incomplete and the step is called uh, the the recombination step okay in the recombination what we have uh, right after the entry of the particular DNA segment what we've just uptaken we must incorporate it into our genome otherwise it is it, it will be no it, it carries no meaning of uptaking all the sequence right so we need to uptake it and right and there is a process of recombination it could be site specific recombination that means we have a particular specific site where we uh, add this uptake in DNA which is a uh, denoted the yellow color strand here and this dotted uh, thing is the chromosome of the bacterial cell so it will uptake and attach with a particular uh, place uh, via site specific recombination sometimes non site specific recombination or sometimes a single strand transforming DNA or single stranded replacement in the single strand replacement what happens so one of uh, this, this new incorporated strand comes in and the old strand comes out uh, so as a result we produce a strand which is having a heterogeneous origin that's why we call this part is a heteroduplex DNA okay we call it a heteroduplex DNA so the formation of all these things are really important this is the final stage uh, and the production of heteroduplex DNA or incorporation of uh, this uptaken DNA onto the bacterial genome okay so we've started with uh, uh, the competence factor generation then the DNA att attachment then the DNA nucleotide nucle nucleus cleavage and then entering uh, into the then recombination and finally the production of the heteroduplex DNA so these are the important steps of transformation and these steps are controlled and there are a lot of different enzymes which are functioning to control these different regions of transformation okay